If you play a lot of games, you know sound and a decent microphone are pretty important. But should they come at a cost of an arm and a leg? Yeah, we don't think so, so we rounded up 10 of the best, cheaper gaming headsets you can buy in 2017. Now keep in mind, cheap should be in quotes because these still cost real money, but we've kept all these under 100 bucks. And if you're curious, stop me if you've heard this before, we link them all in the description below. But let's get started off at number 10 with the MSI DS502. You can usually find these guys for around 40 bucks, they're USB based, they come with software that allows you to control the monitoring and you know some tweaking. The sound right out of the box isn't actually perfect. You do need to do a little tweaking in the settings, but you can get them to sound pretty damn good. It also has 7.1 surround. They're fairly comfortable even though be warned the build quality isn't the best, but the mic quality isn't so bad and it slides up so if you're not using it you can get it out of your face. Overall the way I look at it, MSI is a pretty decent brand and this set of headphones isn't the, the prettiest, but it's workmanlike, it works, it does the job, it does what you need, and it's affordable. That's probably exactly what you're looking for on this list and that's why we put them down. But at number nine, we have the Steel Series Arctis 3. You can usually catch these for around 75 bucks and they work on PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC, of course. This is one of Steel Series' more simple headsets, but I gotta say, last year when we did the more expensive headsets, Steel Series was top of the line. They are really good with some headset stuff. And even though the Arctis 3 is cheaper and more affordable and with less features, you still get a pretty good headset here. First of all, they look way nicer than the MSI ones we just mentioned. It's got this cool little headband on the inside and a nice simple design for the cups that we really appreciate. It has also won some awards from Tom's Guide and PC Magazine, so it's not just us recommending these, but they're comfy. They have 7.1 surround. They have some controls on the side of the ear cup, and it comes with software that allows you to customize it even more if you're using it on PC. The microphone, while it doesn't sound perfect, it does have pretty good built-in noise cancellation that some of you might care about. And since they are wired, you can use them with pretty much everything, and I think that's definitely important, but there's a good balance here between build quality and sound that I actually care about. Also, very important, Importantly to some, these things are loud. You can turn up the sound pretty high and really mess up your ears if that's what you want to do. But at number eight, we have the Razer Kraken Pro. These usually run around 80 bucks and Razer is a product that you're either gonna love it or hate it because they have some obnoxious designs and the Kraken is definitely no slouch in that department. The analog Razer Kraken Pro V2 that we're recommending does come in black or bright obnoxious green. So, hey, whatever you want, man, I'm not gonna judge you. The build quality is decent. I'd say middle of the road. It depends on how you feel about Razer, but I, it's pretty much what I expect from Razer. The microphone is fully retractable with an inline remote that is pretty useful. And these really remind me first and foremost of just snug studio headphones. These are very comfy. They're designed pretty nicely. And like with a lot of Razer products, you do get some decent built-in controls on the PC that if you are into customizing, you can get that here. These have mic controls right on the microphone. The sound is, is pretty good. It gets pretty loud. For me, the bass leaves a little bit to be desired, but it's not the worst. And what is important is that the ear cups are interchangeable. So if you're really picky, I think you can find something that works out for you. But at number seven, we have the Plantronics Rig 4 VR. These usually run about 60 bucks, and while they are designed with PlayStation VR in mind, they can be used anywhere, and we've seen a lot of people recommending them just for headsets, and we checked them out, and yeah, it seems like people are right. Now, these do look a little funky and futuristic, but also kind of tacky, so if you're a design person, these might not be the best, but the microphone is solid and dependable. You can kind of beat the crap out of this headset, and it won't really fail you, but it does have a decent noise-canceling mic, and it comes with interchangeable changeable cables for whatever console or PC you're going to be using it on, depending on what your settings are. Again, since they are designed for VR, you might find some shortcomings here and there in control and like sound quality and stuff, but they do manage to simulate some pretty good sound and they do go on sale often, I guess, since not a lot of people are buying it for VR, you can swoop in and take advantage of that. And coupled with the fact that it is designed for VR, these are very roomy and comfortable pairs of cans. But at number six, here's one that we've really been enjoying because it seems like Corsair most of the time makes some good stuff. It's the Corsair Void Pro RGB USB headset. This is just a simple, comfy, dependable pair of headphones. Like I said, they are USB based, but they have 7.1 Dolby for PC and a decent length microphone that Corsair themselves boasts is 50% larger than your standard mic. This is so the mic is closer to you and there's less outside noise traveling into the mic. And it's got a little bit of RGB lighting, all of this which you can control with Corsair software. But I think one of the most important things that we like about this headset, not only is the sound pretty darn good, but they're just really comfortable, really light, and really simple. This is another headset that's really dependable in the fact that you can knock it around and it's not gonna break, and they can pretty much take whatever you can throw at them. They're really good for the cost. If you're looking for an entry-level Corsair headset, this is definitely the one. 
But at number five, we have the Lucid Sounds LS20s. These you can find for a variety of prices. Sometimes they get on the more expensive side of around 100 bucks, but sometimes on Amazon, you can find them for like 70. And what I will say with these is that the looks can absolutely be deceiving. I, when I took them out of the box, I was like, really? What, what is this? I had heard so much about Lucid Sound, but I just really didn't get the hype at looking at them. But once I put them on, these sound pretty damn good. This is another headset that is once again on this list. No frills, very simple, not a lot going on, but they just work. I will say my one complaint with these is that the cup size is a little too small. If you got big ears, these feel really small and dainty on you. But otherwise, besides that, the build quality here is very strong. The headband is really comfy and nice looking, and it's got a cool little bendable mic. The sound quality is good with probably some of the better bass from what I've already mentioned on this list. And with that mic I mentioned, it's actually removable, and you can pretty much just use these as standard headphones if you want to listen to music on your phone. Now, you can do that with most headsets, but here they're designed to kind of be an in-between, and I like that. So if you're wanting a gaming headset with a little versatility, that's why I figured we'd point this one out. But at number four, we have the Kingston HyperX Cloud 2. This headset has become highly recommended from us and the community for years. This is a solid, dependable headset that just won't quit, and people have been loving it for a long time because it's solid. It works with everything. It's nicely designed. It's simple. It's pretty no frills, but it has a removable mic that's pretty nice. It can be USB based and have 7.1 virtual surround. And this might sound tacky, but I actually kind of like it, but the ear pads are kind of like memory foam, and they, they feel really good. While the sound quality, get the 7.1 on PC, PC, stereo on consoles is still good because these headsets sound decent. They've got some solid boosts and what I really like is that it has a lot of audio control right on the cable. And if you are looking for it, these are closed cup completely, meaning if you're looking to just completely block out outside sound, these definitely help with that. I think the one weak spot on this headset for me is the mic quality. It's not the best, but that noise canceling and just blocking out the outside sound with your headset, I think is a really good trade-off. Again, it's dependable, reliable, and a lot of other people recommend it besides us. So you should look into it. But at number three, we have the Turtle Beach X03. These retail for usually around 70 bucks. And just to keep this list balanced, these are designed specifically for Xbox One. Now you can mess around and use it with other things like PC, but this is probably one of the better affordable Turtle Beach headsets that they offer. I think really just because of the design quality. You get pretty big 50 millimeter speakers. You get a nice kind of studio headset design where everything is comfy and cushy and fits snug. And for us, it wasn't really a problem wearing these long-term at all. The mic is bendy, pretty sensitive, and it is removable. Again, it's not the best quality, but that's kind of like a running theme with these, but it's still more than usable and better than a standard packed in headset. Now again, by any means, I don't think Turtle Beach is the best quality, especially in terms of sound, but build quality and features, you're gonna work out okay here. Also, since we talked about an Xbox focused headset, I might as well bring up a PlayStation one as well. We have the PlayStation Gold wireless stereo headset. We've recommended it before. A lot of PlayStation fans really enjoy it. While the thing doesn't look that great and it's honestly not that comfortable, it's got some good quality sound, so check it out. But at number two, let's stop for a second, talk about something different. There's also another very different option that we're gonna recommend after hearing what some of you guys said after last year's headset videos. If you want the best experience, sometimes it makes sense to find a solid dedicated pair of headphones and a dedicated separate microphone. Look, it sounds expensive and it can be, but even on the lower end, when you have items that specialize in their one specific thing, be it sound or mic quality, you'll likely make out better. Sometimes a cheap to mid-priced pair of headphones just sounds 10 times better than a gaming headset. One that we can very, very much recommend is the Koss Porta Pros. Me personally, I think these things look absolutely hideous, but thankfully, once you put them on your head, they are very comfortable and they got some good sound with some pretty solid bass. I was actually very surprised. They're also really adjustable and fairly important, they're collapsible. So if you want these things on the go, throw them in a bag, they can fit very nicely. This is a pretty standard go-to pair of headphones for listening to music. If you want that extra quality and you're gonna get it here and it only is gonna cost you 40 bucks, so if you're trying to throw that in with another external mic, you'll probably work out better on the headphone quality and the microphone quality front and maybe save a couple bucks. But if you are trying to do that type of thing, we can also recommend the Superlux HD 668B or the Philips SHP 9500. These are pretty standard over-ear studio style headphones that people naturally just kind of use for music and computer listening. And if you want to pair them up with a desktop mic or something like that, they will work absolutely fantastically and you're going to spend less money. So just keep it in mind, food for thought. 
But at number one right now, the one that we're enjoying the most that we can recommend is the Astro Gaming A10 headset. This is Astro's newest pair and it's their first real attempt at making affordable headphones because honestly, sometimes they're usually overpriced. Here, you can usually get these for like 60 bucks, specialized for PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. You can also use them on PC. And they are like the running theme on this list. They're solid, dependable. You can pretty much drop them or throw them or, or, throw, or toss them around and they're gonna work out for you. It's got some decent bass. And most importantly, like some of these on the list, they're just plug and play. They're really simple. The mic pops up. One thing I wish they were removable, but unfortunately they aren't. But they also look very, very nice. They're incredibly simple. The headband and the ear cups are very big, but also very comfy. And they're just sleek, mostly black. And they don't really call any attention to themselves. And sometimes we like that. You're gonna be surprised by the quality. I really think Astro kind of like cracked a code here with finding something to make ad that's actually cheap, but still has some pretty damn good quality. It's definitely not perfect, like compared to its bigger, more expensive Astro cousin. But like everything on the list, these are way more affordable and not just complete shitty ripoff knockoffs. So maybe if you're in the market, consider checking them out. I don't know. But these are the headsets that for not a ton of money to break the bank, we think are worth checking out. But we want to know what you guys are using down in the comments because next year we're going to make another list, another roundup of our favorites. So we want to hear from you guys. Let us know what headset you're using and let us know what you really look for in these things. Is it price? Is it dependability or build quality or features or something in between? Let's talk about anything you look for in headsets and how you feel about these or other ones down in the comments. You know we'll be down there talking to you guys, but you know clicking the like button does help us out and subscribing if you're new is a good idea too because we put out stuff like this all the time. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.